Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm here today at Adidas HQ in Stockport where the Team GB Winter Olympic athletes are going to be kitted out basically and I've come along to just hang out with everyone and see what's going on around here and show you guys what it's like to be an Olympic athlete and going through the whole kitting out process. So, come and join me. So, first things first, I've been given some Team GB branded clothing to put on so I can look a little bit less out of place amongst all these Olympic athletes. So, I'll go through what I've been given with you and then I'll get changed. a little more the part I'm gonna show you what's going on around here let's go this way Tom's chalet. I've just been told this is cool. This is Tom, Hello. our lovely presenter today, and he's doing interviews with all the athletes while they play this PlayStation game here. He's actually just interviewed me as well, and I managed to KO while playing the game. And I think I'm going to cut to that interview now if I get sent footage over. So hopefully you'll be seeing our interview now. I'm joined here by Katie McDonald who is a fraud like me. Both of us are wearing the outfits of Team GB. Although you are a professional free runner, which is quite cool. Thanks. Do you want to tell us a bit about that? I started free running because I was doing cheerleading at university. I was going along to these open gymnastics sessions to work on my cheerleading, mm -hmm. but everyone else who was training there was either a free runner or a tricker, and I kind of thought that what the free runners were doing looked really cool, so I joined in with them, and then it went from there, really. What's interesting interest free running and parkour? Okay, I have to take this quite seriously because some people get really offended I when people use the wrong words. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Okay, so parkour is essentially getting from A to B in the most efficient way possible. Mm -hmm. So that's things like jumps and vaults and all that kind of stuff. And then free running is sort of more stylized. It's where people add flips and more creativity. So and that the kind of chimney thing. sweeps and Mary Poppins, mm. they were free runners more than. Because they were dancing about, yeah. Because so definite about. free runners. Perhaps some of the earliest free runners. Perhaps the first free runners. Perhaps. Ever. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Well, I also noticed you played. You, you did some skiing earlier with some of the, some of the, some of the guys, some of the Team GB guys. Yeah. So Katie Ormerod, I had a snowboarding lesson with. So it was her fault that she didn't teach you well enough. No, I think she actually taught me very well. I was just okay. very tragic. Okay. And then Rowan Cheshire attempted to teach me how to ski. And it didn't go too well. No, not at no. all. In I, fact, I could barely stand up. <laughs> I got, t I got, I got, t I got taught how to do curling by the women's team. Oh, nice. And um, how was it? It was really difficult. Yeah. Running on ice is really difficult <laughs> and I bruised a lot of my body. I've actually had experience of running on ice before. I had to shoot out in Moscow last January and it was literally me trying to do free running on icy rooftops. That's the most dangerous thing in the world. Mm. And it was minus 35 degrees. So see, my mother wouldn't let me outdoors when I was a kid, but free oh, running no. but free running on ice. Anyway, neither here <laughs> nor there. Uh, you know the game. Yeah. We're going to go skiing first, I think, actually. Hang on, okay. I'll just set this up for you. I, I think I'm skiing already. Yeah, skiing Ooh, already. Set, Give it a go. Sent me off. You, you, Hang you're on. off. Okay. You know the game. You know the game. Lots of tricks. Score as many points as you can. Oh. No, already oh, after no. all. No, you're doing well. No, no, no. But l I think the last time I tried, I did a triple there, and I just did a single well, now. Well, now you can do a triple. Oh, so the practice run that no one saw you did a triple. Yeah, That's I did one practice run, and it went really well. Yeah. And now I can't even seem to find any jumps. Where are they? That's what I do. When, one. I, when I'm performing to camera, I say, "Oh, you should be in for one then." Yeah. Oh, who's your mama? Triple, is that, there we is go. that a ski saying? Who's your mama? Sounds like something you'd say. <laughs> is that a saying at all? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ice. Oh, and I landed backwards. What's that called? Do that's, you know? That's called. Oh, I'm still backwards. How do I go forward? That's called an ice move. If you put them all in together. Oh. Why am put, I still backwards? Together. What? These bits. Sorry. These. Oh, yeah, nice. Spin. I didn't know You're that. You're doing really well, but you get points going backwards. So. Oh, nice. Oh, look at I'm that. I'm doing well then. Oh, I'm and backwards back again. again. Yeah, you know. Oh, turned around. You're already doing very well. Thanks. Much better than me. Oh, 
Oh, I, I love Lionel Gatsby. Really Jerry good Rice. Do you know Jerry Rice? Good guy. Um, good I guy. just saw Jerry Rice talking to you earlier. Yeah. Do you know my name's Tom? His name's Jerry. I know, that's so good. Yeah. Tom and Kirsty doesn't quite the same. McDonald's. Or Tom and Katie. Katie, that sorry. Is my name. Yeah, we'll edit that. <laughs> Tom and Katie doesn't have quite the same. Uh, Do you know what I reckon? Maybe Katie and Tom. Yeah. Hopefully they won't edit any of that and they'll get the whole of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. KO. You KO'd. We haven't had a KO. Is that game over? Is that game over? No. I think I've just broken my back. I think you, well, you, t you, you sort of head slammed like that. Do we get a replay or what happens now? I could do it for you and slam. Bang. And then it was. I can't um, believe so, it. I, mean, I was doing, doing so well. Really, really well. You're on four thousand nine hundred and thirty-seven. Mm. Halfway through the course, double that. You would have been. You would have been near the top. I, I think Jerry I would Rice. have been the top. Other than Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. What, what did Jerry, Jerry Rice, Rice get? did unbelievably well. Jerry Rice got twenty-seven thousand seven hundred ninety-six. Jerry Rice, ladies and gentlemen. Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. Nice. How on earth have you done that? So now I'm going to take you behind the scenes of the kitting out process that all of the Team GB athletes will go through. So they'll start off in this room here. I'm actually doing a little Snapchat takeover at the moment, so we're just trying to work some technicalities out back there. Um, but this is where the athletes will be welcomed and they'll be given a little talk through the campaign. We've got all of these tweets up on the walls from fans and I guess fellow athletes and people like that showing lots of love and support for our athletes. So yeah, hashtag we are the great. Then the athletes will come through here. There's Katie, who I met the other day. And this is where they'll get their formal wear supplied by Simon Jersey. So they'll come through in one of these little cubicles and they'll be kissed out with their formal wear. And then carrying on. Oh, hello. I guess that's for the guys. Some crispy white shirts, smart shoes. And this looks like it's for the ladies. Oh, look, we've got people actually in action. Oh, she might not want to be filmed. I'll carry on. Oh, I'm never ready. Oh, look. <laughs> Even Someone was not actually... ready. Oh, I missed it again. I was like, is it going to go? Oh. I just can't do it. Oh, you're putting absolutely spot on right from the start. <laughs> this is the village one, so we will come in here and probably spend between half an hour to an hour in here getting okay. all, their, all their different bits of kit. We've got um, village wear, um, So the Snapchat takeover has taken a turn for the worse. <laughs> it's all rather cheesy. So then as the athletes come through to this area where they pick up their shoes, they then walk through this little hall of legendary GB moments. So I'll take you through that real quick. There's Jenny Jones, she's around here somewhere today. I don't think you need a run up, eh? Hey? You put most of the effort in your elbow. Push it harder than you think you need to. We're not very good at curling. Oh. Last ones. Oh. That's my winning stone. Just one, a little game of curling. I might have to think about that after my free running career ends. So that was village wear, and now I'm gonna take you through to competition wear through here. So obviously this room is really, really important because this is where the athletes get kissed out with the kit that they're actually gonna be wearing when they're competing in the Olympics. So, you know, that can make the difference of a thousandth of a second, which could be the difference between a gold and a silver. So this is kind of 
is a bit of a big deal, you know. And they'll come through here and then any alterations will be made on location by this lady over here. And that's it. So once they're done here, the athletes are finished with the kitting out process and now I'll take you through quickly to where they'll then collect all their kit at the end of the day. So then this is the area where the athletes will come to check out essentially. All of their kit will be scanned through here, tap to start, and they'll get some little goodies as well, courtesy of Aldi. So that's it then guys, thanks so much for coming and joining me behind the scenes of a kitting out day for Team GB athletes and I'll see you next time guys. <laughs>